my nigga. It's cold business. It's cold business. It's cold business. It's cold business. For real. For real. You know, that's just what it is, though. You know, you from where we from, that's how I go. Yeah. I know some niggas that ain't coming back Lost in the ghetto living life like all you need is straps And if they want it, they gon' get it Ain't no change in that They minds made up They family fucked up Every day they down on they luck Feel ain't no love in they household Can't wait to go outside And suicide that whole shit So now it's homicide For new shoes and candy rides Do or die on that side Question if they fuck with you a must And you can't let them slide It's dope sales just to prevail Gang bang for approval Call to their sister face the judge and accept how he do that. Yeah. He sing you down that road on first offenses. Hit by fences. Joseph with some killers. Just another nigga in the trenches. That's how they view you, homie. Yeah. Can't trust your shooters, homie. Cause when you shining and they not, watch how they do you, homie. Supposed to be your cuz, but he ratting out to the judge. Told him how you the plug. And when you're gone, he at your good. It ain't no love. It's all fucked up. T the fucking man, T the fucking man podcast. Today we're going to take it slow. I want to start off by saying, uh, rest in peace to PNB rock. Very tragic. I, uh, I be hate when I be seeing young niggas, man, young fly niggas, man, go out like that, man, to some bum ass nigga. That in all reality, nigga, you should have went and got you something. You know what I mean? And let me say this off the top. I'm not speaking from, uh, you know what? I'll get into that later. Uh, I've been reading a lot of the, uh, comments and I've been seeing what everybody else saying. Uh, first of all, all of this, most of the accountability has to be on PNB Rock. We can't just sit here and put everything on the bitch. I know you niggas like to blame the bitch for everything. Oh, she got, she got about 40, yeah, she got 40% of the blame, but he got 60. Yeah. It's a goddamn shame black men can't get money and, you know, live life out here. And then when, when, when somebody come try to take it, it's a motherfucker that look like you. That's why I don't fuck with niggas. See, I'm Mark Jr. grandson. He always told me, niggas is niggas. <laughs> you can sit there and think that's your friend. You can sit there and think them your partners. Niggas is niggas. You see what I'm saying? Man, rest in peace to PNB Rock. Now for the L7s. That's, uh, People like Cardi B. I told y'all Cardi B a goofy bitch. I love Cardi B, but I told y'all, listen, y'all don't need to be sitting around listening to no motherfucker Cardi B, my nigga. When it comes to drugging niggas and robbing niggas and, you know, bitch a big thief, you know what I mean? Listen to her about that. When it comes to shit like this, man, that girl don't know shit about this. She got to drug people to take shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> see, one thing about me, I'm going to stay in my lane. And today, I'm in my motherfucking lane. See what I'm saying? Uh, the bitch on, on, on I seen the bitch on Instagram talking about some uh, uh, yeah, I don't think niggas is sitting back watching, you know, the bitch Instagram like that. Y'all reaching, girl? Let me tell your dumb ass something. <laughs> let me hop on the other side of the gun and tell you something. It's 2022. See, back when I was back, you know. That was a time, I'm just saying this. That was a time to where you had to lay under a nigga's house for two, three hours and wait for this nigga to come from the fucking club. It might be raining. You got a a, a, a stream of water going up your pants leg. You laying there. You know what I mean? But you see, you, that, that shit take a, a strong mental. And you under that motherfucker fighting off rats and roaches and Cause you want it There was a time where you had to wait three hours For a nigga to come home sloppy out that club And you 
catch that nigga getting out that car and you casually walk that nigga through the house. Where is that? You might have, you might, you might have to wait. I mean, in, in, in the motherfucking trees, 20, 30 yards away from the house in the backyard. When you see them headlights pull up, you got to do your best motherfucking Usain Bolt impression and run a 4340 to catch this nigga. You got to come off the side of the house and catch this nigga getting out that car. You ain't got to do that shit no more. Listen, it's 2022. If I want a nigga, I'm going to create me a burner account. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that shit. I'm watching you. I'm watching your homeboy that you with all the time. And I'm watching that bitch more than both of y'all. Because nine times out of ten, the bitch going to give the drop. You seen it. You seen it. These motherfucking, the attack of the phones. What I told y'all about them motherfucking phones. Huh? Man, I've known niggas want to go do crimes and all this shit with a phone in their fucking pocket. You're pinging off the fucking towels. <laughs> you sitting there, all it takes is for one motherfucker to say, well, I, well, I heard such and such was there. They going to come pick your ass up, run your phone records. You pinging off the towels. You already got priors of doing this shit. You going down. What you going? Well, man, no, man, I went there. Well, your phone say you was in the area, my nigga. You sure you ain't got nothing you won't tell me? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, man? Man, what's wrong with y'all with these fucking phones? Listen, nigga couldn't go nowhere with me doing certain shit and you want to take that motherfucking phone. Man, your ass gonna stay here. You gonna stay here and watch my watch my phone. Cause my phone's staying here, nigga. You gonna stay here with my phone. Since you want, since you wanna play with fucking phones. You stay here and play with your phone and watch mine. Goof ass nigga. I done told y'all about these motherfucking phones. I know y'all think I come in here and I just be talking shit. I done seen some movies and you know what I mean? You might even know some people like, oh, man, oh, let me tell you, young man, let me tell you something, young man, don't you dare think, don't you dare fall for the bullshit these niggas out here selling you thinking that the only way that you can be in the streets and handling your motherfucking business is if everybody know your motherfucking business. They ain't supposed to know your motherfucking business. If you doing certain shit, you want the elders, you want certain people to be like, oh, no, man, I don't think he did that. That's a good kid. That's what you want. You niggas get tats all on your face and you go out your way to look like a demon. Everything you post is some evil negative shit. Because you're really trying to fool yourself. Well, as I were, you are fooling yourself and now you're trying to fool me. Nah, my nigga. But anyway, back to these celebrities and shit. Oh man, y'all trying to put it on the girl. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to take you back five months. See, I'm going to take it somewhere that I ain't. Y'all, boy, listen. Well, I've heard somebody salute to that nigga Sco out there in Dallas. Just say no to Sco. Y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll be checking him out. I'll be in the comment section. Fool. That last show was a fool. <laughs> the show he did about the shit was a fool, man. Man, he had something on that motherfucker. It's some fucking I don't know what he had on That nigga had on Dada, That nigga had on The Dada Supreme Button up That nigga had on The food. That nigga had on A FUBU uh, For Sashi Button up I don't know what That nigga had on I'm Talking about what He finna do Man you need to go Iron that wrinkle ass Motherfucking Polyester shirt My nigga The fuck is you Talking about But anyway He had a chick on there That took it Where I was going I'm Talking about Listen man <laughs> I'ma get into that Salute to that nigga skull. But I done told y'all about these motherfucking phones, man. The phone gonna get you in trouble every time. I never understood a nigga when that pressure on. He don't grab it. You hear that? You hear that mother? That, that, 
that heavy motherfucker right there, man, I take that motherfucker to the shitter with me. Listen, man, when that pressure on, the phone ain't gonna save your life. I don't give a fuck what you record. If you catch one to the dome, you caught one to the dome. See what I'm saying? That motherfucking phone might hit that ground, lock, can't nobody even get in it. The fucking video don't matter. <laughs> That phone ain't gonna save your life. This mo- this motherfucker right here gonna save your life. Motherfucking pressure be on you niggas grab the phones. What's wrong with you? Whole lot of goof ass niggas on the internet can't stand they lame man. You don't even know nothing about shit like this man. Shut up. Shut up. I don't think I don't think the nigga was watching her social media, bitch. Well, you dumb than a motherfucker if you thinking like that. We we heard it our whole motherfucking lives, my nigga. Work smart, not hard. Listen, any nigga laying under a motherfucking house right now, you working too hard. You gotta do that. Follow that bitch on Instagram. Cause these niggas be too comfortable with the bitch. Nigga PNB Rock riding around the bitch driving. He popping his shit. You know what I'm saying? All comfortable and shit. He ain't giving no directions. The bitch just taking him wherever she won't take him. If she did want to line him up, it's too easy. Now look, I'm not one of them niggas that's saying she set him up. That's stupid than a motherfucker. This nigga is way more valuable to her alive than dead. But I will say this, she might be an involuntary accomplice. She ain't even know she was helping them niggas. Maybe. Cause the bitch goofy. The nigga was just on academics. See y'all wanna take it back a week or two ago when he was talking to academics. I'ma take you back five, six months in a second. Hold that thought. The nigga was just on academics saying that he know the bitch goofy. He know the bitch ain't got no game. The bitch dumb as fuck. Oh, gullible ass bitch. She she don't see nothing coming. But this but y'all same niggas that have a bitch like this, but let a bitch tell you some shit like you be man. Why the fuck you going over here? Oh, don't worry about it. I got us. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with us, man. Shut your dumb ass up. What the fuck you gonna do? Back, back, hey, look, back to that nigga Skull when he did that motherfucking show. He had a bitch on the panel talking about some. I ain't gonna let a nigga kill my nigga. Ho, what you finna do? I think the bitch was from Milwaukee. Baby, listen, y'all sell pussy up there. You ain't, listen, let that G shit, leave that alone. Yeah, 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 you probably got some whole tension on you, but when it come to this shit right here, baby, stay in your lane. What the fuck you finna do? Who the fuck you think you is? That green bitch that was twerking with Megan Thee Stallion on that show? Who you, you think you She-Hulk, bitch? Who you, you think you're fucking Demi Moore? you G.I. Jane? You wanna be fucking Angelina Jolie? You think you're the Tomb Raider, bitch? Who you think you is? What you finna do? I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. Bitches get whole clips down here, nigga. You'd have been laying there next to that, nigga. With your lace front still on the table. The hell you man listen man people be talking dumb as a motherfucker but look i tell y'all all the time i know y'all think i just be man that dude they're crazy no listen these people think they're god not gods not an image of god they're they think they are god the big god they think they god my nigga oh man that should have never happened to me man no man not me man i ain't going listen let me tell you something you can have 50 guns in your possession. If that nigga get the up, he coming up on your ass and you going down. Yeah, you going down like the situation, bitch. Young Jock is going down. Whoever got the up, coming up. You better stay on point, man. I know y'all say Boosie crazy as hell, but that nigga ain't like, man, you better stay on point, man. Down here in Louisiana? Shit. Bitch talking about ain't she ain't letting nobody kill her nigga. That's what's up. You kill you too. You're special if you think you're special, bitch. Who the fuck you think you is? Fuck you, man. I know niggas run up on Jay-Z and Beyonce, nigga. Fuck you mean? Spill both dead. 
Shit. Man, people can't stand they motherfucking lame, man. Y'all be watching these movies. Y'all think shit really be in slow motion? No, no. I know it feel like 33 seconds. It's only been three seconds. You got a lot more to go. Stay sharp, nigga. Oh, yeah, it happened fast. That's why this, this motherfucker here, man, I'm taking it to the shitter. I take the trash out with this motherfucker. Man, listen, I ain't playing. Because it, it, when it happened, it happened. You're special if you think you're special. But listen, y'all be so comfortable with the bitch. A bitch ain't never had me on her motherfucking live. A bitch ain't never had me on a social media, Facebook, all on Instagram, talking about, yeah, over here with my nigga T, bitch. I never get one time I was riding with a bitch. Passenger side, just like PNB Rock was. This bitch pull her phone out. Road trip, yep. Yeah. Ho, what you doing? Well, I'm finna know you not. I throw this motherfucking phone out the window, bitch. We'll, uh, excuse me, we'll get a nothing when we come back. But right now, that bitch will go out the window. You better put that motherfucker back in that purse. Matter of fact, turn it off. Any emergency, bitch, I got my phone. I ain't finna be doing all that stupid shit with my phone. Put that shit down. See, I'm a nigga. I'm a strategic nigga. If you go look on my YouTube page, you'll see there's a, 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 a video clip of me in New Mexico with Young Bleed. You know, when I was on tour with Young Bleed, I did some production on his uh, What A Life album. Go check that out on all platforms. But I was in New Mexico with Young Bleed. That's me holding the camera. Young Bleed asked me, yo T, we live? Yeah, nigga, I'm here to do business. I ain't having no fucking fun. I ain't, ah. Catch me out, I'm doing business. I'd rather be in the house, feet on the couch, eating ice cream, watching Netflix. So yeah, anyway, I'm in New Mexico. I got buku footage, pictures, all that shit. Man, listen, I got this one picture standing in front of the hotel, nigga, on that main street. Uh, where all the homeless motherfuckers be at in New Mexico, nigga, they be packed. They were cool than the motherfucker, though. I walked up and down that strip. Uh, but I got a picture, and I made it my profile picture a week after I was back home. I, I was back home, my nigga. A week after we got back, that's when that shit started coming out, my nigga. I never get one time, nigga, I, I, I took a trip to Houston. So I posted a photo when I got back home. And my nigga Pat Quinn was like, man, I'm down here in San Antonio. Salute to my nigga Pat Quinn in San Antonio, man. Y'all go check his music out, man. Dope artist, my nigga. He from South Dakota, I think. But he in San Antonio. He was like, man, I'm in San Antonio, man. We got a meet up, dog. I'll meet you halfway. I say, my nigga, I am at home. <laughs> I am in Louisiana, my nigga. Yeah, we, we don't move like that. They watching. Oh, they watching. I don't give up. You special if you think you're special. PNB Rock thought he was special. On motherfucking academics talk about, yeah, man, I just be trying to show niggas, man, I'm just like you. No, you ain't nothing like them dirty niggas. You got your jewels shining. You got a fucking crib on your neck. You got a fucking foreign whip on your wrist. Homie ain't got a fucking Honda Accord. You ain't nothing like them niggas. See, y'all be having that shit fucked up. Oh, man, we all the same. No, the fuck we not. I was chosen. I made sacrifices. I put it all on the line. I could have nothing for putting it on the line. But see, I'm sitting here with everything. Them motherfuckers didn't sacrifice nothing. But maybe they life or a fucking chain or something. No, nah, we ain't the same, nigga. Motherfuckers be going, man, T think he better than I don't think shit. I know I'm better than you. I might not be better than a lot of other people, but I know I'm better than your lazy bum ass. Take it how you want to, nigga. This, mo this motherfucker bus. See what I'm saying? No, we ain't the same. 
Y'all be trying to go out y'all way to prove shit to niggas that want to kill you. Shit don't even be about no money. The motherfucking jeweler, they got killed and they trying to blame the shit on Boosie and his people. That nigga died with all his motherfucking jewelry still on. They ain't even get nothing. These niggas is wicked. They want clout. Nigga kill you. Go back to the neighborhood. You notice they always get caught and go to jail? Here's why. <laughs> the nigga kill you for some clout. Go back to the neighborhood. Tell tell one person. I ain't gonna say they tell everybody. Hopefully they not that dumb. But, but, but niggas is dumb. Hopefully they not that dumb. But I know they is. But listen, I'm trying to give you a little, little, little rope, my nigga. Nigga go tell somebody. Who tell his bitch. Who tell her best friend. Who gonna tell her nigga. And her nigga is an informant. You seen the statistics last year, man. Informants collectively in America making billions of dollars a year. Some of these niggas making six figures a year. Telling on your ass. You might think that's your partner. But when he found out you killed whoop de whoop and he can get five, ten thousand for that information. Yeah, man. Listen, he calling detective such and such. He's like, check this out, man. I got some information on that murder, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listen, that 2500 ain't gonna do it though, man. I'm gonna need 5000 man. This right here gonna crack the case, man. Yeah, that's how that's going down. And for you dumbass niggas like, man, can't no detective giving no money like that. You think the money coming from the local police department, you stupid ass nigga. He is a government informant, nigga. He worked for the people that print the money, nigga. If he got that information and they agree to 5000 they're going to print him $5,000, nigga. Man, you niggas need to stay in your lane. On the internet talking that stupid shit. Well, you can't blame the girl. Why the fuck I can't, nigga? Especially when I'm finna take you. Let's, let's go back five fucking months. For those that know, PNB Rock had to take the bitch phone from her. And y'all, y'all looking at it like, oh man, you know, man, that nigga just caught him talking to a bitch. No, you don't know what he read in that goddamn DM. See, when you're dealing with a bitch that's on social media, she might not even be on social media. I've dated bitches or fucked with bitches that was just popular in their city. Niggas gonna stay in that inbox. <laughs> it's a million niggas in a bitch in it's a million niggas in a bitch inbox right now. The bitch ain't got nothing going. The bitch just look good and she posts pictures. It's a million niggas in that inbox. Half of them ready to save the bitch life. No niggas lame, they lose, the, they, they use their money to, you know, get the bitch and all that shit. Ain't got no game, no nothing like that, no no charisma. You know what I mean? They, they, but uh, it's a million niggas in that inbox. Nigga don't be tripping on that. Now, if you start entertaining these dusty ass niggas, we got a problem. Because I'm a fly nigga. I got shit going. And you fucking with these dusty ass niggas that'll kill me. To lay down with you. This nigga will kill me just to get a piece of your pussy. He don't plan on treating you right. He don't plan on buying you nothing because he can't buy you nothing. He can't do nothing for you. He can't put no shelter on you. He can't do nothing. Can't put a t-shirt on your back. He will kill me to eat your ass, nigga. But what the bitch do? I done told you niggas, man, sometimes you got to send that bitch outside. And sometimes when you send her outside, she can't come back. Most of the time, she can't come back. Most of the time, she can't come back. Now, if you got your real woman on your hands, you know, sometimes you got to let her go out there, bump her motherfucking head. See, it ain't just stray dogs out there. It's stray cats out there, too. In my neighborhood where I live at, I see stray cats every day. They hop in fences. Them, they, I, I come outside, water my grass. These motherfucking cats hop in fences, climbing trees. Motherfucker all on top of my trash can. I come outside sometime. Motherfucking cat just laying on my motherfucking trampoline. Now, I don't, I don't fuck. I don't fuck with them. They, do your thing, nigga. But, but there's stray cats out there, man. Sitting that bitch out there, man. 
See, here's why PNB Rock gotta get 60% of the blame. Today's episode is sponsored by Atlanta Sports Trap. Located at 5615 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30088. Atlanta Sports Trap is your number one shop for all your sports apparel and your sports accessory needs. When it come down to sports jerseys, man, they got it all. From NBA, NFL, MLB, NCAA, down to MLS. Now, if they don't have it, all you gotta do is put in a request for whatever jersey you want. But just know this now, once you put in that request, say my name, you gotta pre Pay. Yeah, you gotta prepay. They got the Michelin S throwbacks, the Nike City Edition, Nike on Field, Cooperstown. Look here, bro. If you name it, they got it. Players' jerseys who you forgot about, like Steve Francis, Latrell Sprewell. Yeah, the nigga that choke niggas. Tim Hardaway. Yeah, all that. You know they got the legends now. They got Michael Jordan. You know that, but check this out. Not 23, 45. Yeah, 97 NBA Finals. You know what I'm talking about? Or that Allen Iverson Georgetown jersey. <laughs> you know they got that. Yeah, they got any Kobe Bryant jersey you need now. That black one. With the Los Angeles, yeah, the cursive letters, yeah, that 96 thing, yeah, yeah, man, I had one there when I was 16. I stole it, but it was mine. That's a whole nother story. Shipping is always free, and it's shipped the same day, if not the next, that's guaranteed. USPS first class shipping, unless you order three or more items, then it's shipped two day priority. That's right, my nigga, two days. Now you can follow them on Instagram at Sports Trap ATL, that's S P O R T S T R A P A T L for the niggas that can't spell. You can also hit them up on Facebook at Atlanta Sports Trap. You gotta stay tuned for the new items and the new sales that they got coming soon. They gonna be giving away a bunch of uh, giveaways too now, so y'all make sure y'all turn them goddamn notifications on. Now here's the best part about the whole thing. You know you can get something off my name, you know what I'm saying? Hey, when you check out, use the promo code TDFM and you gonna get 10% off. Yeah, you know me, nigga. One of the few niggas you walk in the trap, you say my name, you might get the shit for free. Atlanta Sports Trap, located at 5615 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Man, y'all gotta go holler at them, man. Go Go check the IG out, man. Everything fire. You know what I'm talking about? Shit. Back to the show. Five motherfucking months ago, you were supposed to leave that bitch outside. What I told y'all about that love shit. That shit get dangerous. You got to know when to put nip that shit in the bud. You got to know when to put that shit out. That love shit gets you killed. Y'all was already having problems and shit in the relationship. Y'all got a kid. Y'all was together for five years. My nigga, maybe it ain't meant for you to do year six, nigga. Send that bitch out there with little Ray Ray from the 60s. <laughs> yeah, he caught her in the DM with little Ray Ray from the 60s. And it wasn't that she was just saying, hey, back. No, 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 no. Listen to me. See, PNB Rock come off as a fly nigga. He probably sent the outside. Little bumper head. He probably thought the square ass bitch. Nah, man, she ain't gonna do nothing. Shit. See, she remember when y'all first met. You was sucking them toes. You was eating that ass. She had your whole motherfucking head in the pussy. You eating the pussy for 30, 45 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. She remember that when y'all first got together, but you stopped. Nigga got, we get comfortable, don't we? And when I say we, I'm just trying to, you know, be a part of this. But, but I don't eat no ass, sucking no toes, no nothing. See me, I'm a nigga, ba baby, if you want that, I don't do that. You, you, you go get that over there. I'm that nigga. I don't bend on, break on, fold with no bitch. It's just a bitch. <laughs> Good green tea, you know what I'm talking about? You know me. Uh... Yeah, that's why the skin like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, baby, if you if you want your toes sucked, you want a nigga to be stroking and sucking toes and licking kneecaps and no, I ain't that nigga. There's a good chance you won't get two minutes out of me, baby. <laughs> yeah, I ah, whatever. Bitch, I ain't 22, I'm 32. And I and don't get me wrong, I can still drop dick off. I, I just, bitch, I ain't got time for that shit, bitch. Take your ass over there with little Ray Ray from the 60s. You know what I'm saying? He gonna break you off. He ain't got nothing but that time. Let me tell y'all something. When I had nothing going on, that's when I got the most pussy. Because I was like little Ray Ray from the 60s. I ain't got nothing but time and a cell phone. I'm finna holler at every bitch. I'm in every DM. I'm on I'm on Twitter in every DM. You know what I'm saying? And I done pulled some bad bitches off Twitter. Baddest bitch I ever fucked in my life. I pulled off Twitter. Fucked in a trap house. No electricity. I ain't have shit going. The bitch was over there with me every day. <laughs> Crazy. 
bitch finding a motherfucker, my nigga. If I was this man, don't ask me. Ask Ray G. Uh, ask Cool. Ask the people that was around. Little bitch finding a motherfucker, man. I ain't had shit going, my nigga. That's when you gonna get the most pussy. When you start getting on your shit, man, you ain't even, man, whatever. Motherfucking bitch ghost you or some shit, man. You jack off and go to sleep. What the fuck that? Yeah, whatever, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> whatever, bitch. Hope probably ain't ate today. Fuck you, me. But anyway, y'all be so comfortable with that bitch. That nigga PNB rock caught her in the motherfucking DMs with little Ray Ray, man. Yeah, that's what happened. He that, that one time he sent her outside thinking she wasn't gonna do nothing. She went over there with little Ray Ray, and little Ray Ray broke off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came back home because Ray Ray can't buy her no motherfucking Gucci bag. Ray Ray can't buy their motherfucking daughter a happy meal. Ray Ray dropping dick off though. Savage life. He <laughs> Anything the bitch want. You like that, huh? You like that? Yeah, you like that. No, y'all ought be all in the bitch ear, baby. You, yeah, you like that. I seen no motherfucking meme on Instagram talking about some man. You got to talk her through her climax. Bitch, shut up. I don't even like a bitch doing all that motherfucking hollering in my ear. Ho, if you don't shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get out of here. You fucking me up. Breaking my concentration, bitch. You better get you while you sitting up there doing all that goddamn performing. Shut the fuck up. But yeah, man, she went over there with a little Ray Ray. She thought it was a fly nigga, you know what I'm saying? She don't even know that that one outfit he had on, that's the only fly outfit he got. Next time you see him, he gonna have that bitch on again. But see, she fucked little Ray Ray that one time. She just wanted to get off. Every girlfriend I ever had cheated on me. Bitch want to get off. Bitch want attention and all that shit. Ah, I swear I care about me more than you. I swear. <laughs> yeah, I, I just ain't with it, man. I just had a bitch on the phone the other day talking about I was difficult. Whatever you say, bitch. Hit me up when you're ready to do what I say. My way or the highway. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, I ain't one of them niggas, baby. I don't need $40 on. You know what I mean? I don't, hey, it what it is. Now, if you got them food stamps, I'll buy some. Straight up. Straight up. I always here for that. Yeah, I keep me $50, $60 to the side by them stamps. You know, I live by myself. I just need a hundred of them. Yeah, two weeks. Maybe three. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck with me. <laughs> but yeah, baby, I ain't one of them niggas. Go holler at Lil Ray Ray. He gonna eat your ass. Suck your toes. Dive in the pussy off the dresser like Charleston White. I ain't with that. So that's what she went and did that one time. What she didn't know is that little Ray Ray, the most tender nigga in the motherfucking city. He tender than a motherfucker. He ain't never in his life had a bitch look like you, baby. He been watching your, he, he been following you on Instagram for six years. He can't believe he got a piece of that pussy. He's willing to do anything to get that pussy again. Why didn't PNB why why didn't PNB Rock getting shot get shot while the bitch didn't have the phone? Cause cause if you listen to how he talk, he moved like that everywhere he go. He moved like that. This ain't his first time. He was talking about he was on Fairfax or whatever street that is. I done heard Nipsey rapping about that. I don't think that's a place you wanna be, my nigga. He was on Fairfax, niggas pressed him or, or whatever, or he seen some vultures. The bitch didn't even want to leave. Man, what's wrong? Listen, y'all niggas be led by that bitch. Bitch gonna lead you to death. Pun intended. What? What you mean she ain't want to leave? You should have left the bitch then. Will you stay, bitch? I'm that nigga. Will you stay then, bitch? Man, I never get one. I ain't gonna tell that story. I'm y'all definitely gonna be like, man, this nigga a piece of shit. But hey, look, look man, I lead a bitch. I'm like, what? You wanna do it? Alright, then shit, do your thing, bitch. <laughs> Alright, shit. My life is more important, I swear to God, bitch. 
we wouldn't be here today if I wasn't so important, baby. You wouldn't be here if I wasn't who I am. So why the fuck should I let you lead me into destruction? Anyway, back to the story. She went and put that pussy on Tinder Dick Ray Ray from the 60s. And he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. He willing to do anything to get that pussy back. So after she put that pussy on about a week later, maybe two, Ray Ray jumped back in the DMs. You know, uh, this is what PNB Rock read. You know, uh, I really enjoyed myself that day. And, uh, I, I, I really think we should link up. We should do that again. You know what I mean? I, I, I really appreciate how you, you know, and PNB Rock like, hold the fuck on, block. <laughs> block so time start, start time start going by ray ray like man where the fuck this bitch at he go look for he can't find a little ray ray create a burner account <laughs> he creates the burner account see what i'm saying and now he watching her from the burner account one month go by she ain't said nothing two months three months four months five months go by and this bitch is back on the ground. Sorry guys, uh, I've been gone for a while. You know, I had woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, I had stuff to handle and woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. So Ray Ray getting excited. And then Ray Ray going to the comment section and they go PNB Rock. Talking about some, yeah man, I had to take her phone from her. You know, she mine man, fuck y'all niggas. And when Ray Ray read fuck y'all niggas, that nigga knew PNB Rock was talking to Ray Ray. And Ray Ray did what he do as tender dick Ray Ray. He got in his motherfucking feelings. Man, I'm finna kill this nigga. See, y'all want to make it about chains. and you know, I done just told y'all these niggas ain't even getting no money. <laughs> they killing folks for nothing. Y'all want to make it about the chains. I'm telling you now, it might be about the bitch. These niggas want the bitch more than they want the money. Not knowing that if you get the money, the bitch gonna come over there anyway. And you let that bitch think whatever she want. Man, I done had bitches thinking that, oh, yeah, girl, I got me one. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. When I told you on the last episode, when bitches think they got them a duck-ass nigga when they come to me, I know I'm finna fuck this hoe for four, five years. Yeah, I'ma be like that nigga in that goddamn commercial. I forgot what commercial is. That old man that had that dollar on that fishing rod. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, yeah, I'm that nigga. <laughs> well, bitch, you want to. OK, you think whatever you want to think. I bet I get what I want. And if you play your part right, you might can, you know, nigga might sprinkle a little something on you now and then. But it's my way or the highway, bitch. We moving on my time at all times. But yeah, PNB Rock. In the comment section, talking about some fuck these niggas. She's all mine. She's on lock. Ray Ray like, oh yeah, okay, oh yeah. You won't take my bitch. It ain't even pin be be rock bitch no more. It's Lil Ray Ray bitch in his mind. She done put that pussy on him. He done ate her ass so delicately. And and what you gonna take my bitch? No 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 no. <laughs> nah nigga, hell to the fuck now nah, nigga. Nigga, you gotta die for this. And what the bitch do? You know what I mean? What the drops the addy? See, Ray Ray was watching when PNB Rock was going live, riding around, showing off them same jewels. Talking about fuck y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas broke and all that shit. Ray Ray taking that shit to heart while he watching this shit. Man, listen. There are people that watch social media, and everything they see that they don't like, they swear to God, you talking about them. Man, I don't even know you, fam. <laughs> I don't even fucking know you. Don't give a fuck about you. But you swear I'm talking about you. Man, that's Lil Ray Ray. But see, PNB Rock riding around with Ray Ray, bitch. So Ray Ray know that PNB Rock talking about him. Man, that bitch dropped that motherfucking Addy. Lil Ray Ray and his partners was in there 20 minutes. 
20 minutes they was there. Now, let me say this. Is it possible that the little dirty ass cook in the back made a phone call? Man, guess who in here with a motherfucking mansion on their neck? Yeah, that's possible. Is it possible that he pulled up in the motherfucking uh, pulled up at that place and got out jeweled up and a nigga that robbed him walked right past him as he was walking in and then came back and got the business clear? Yes, that's possible, nigga. This is the hood, nigga. This is the ghetto. That's why I tell y'all quit fucking antagonizing vultures. They ain't got nothing. That's why when you get something and you want to be down so bad, old brandy ass motherfucking nigga. You want to be down so bad. You want to take your motherfucking ass back over there and stun. You know what they thinking? They not thinking, oh man, my nigga came up. I'm happy for my nigga. Oh man, this nigga stunned on me. Man, when I was young, I used to be one of them niggas. Oh, you stunned on me. I got to have that. Once again, like I told y'all before, I stay in my lane. Say, man. I used to be Lil Ray Ray. <laughs> not, not, I'm not killing no nigga by no bitch. I ain't never been no, you know, but looking at a nigga riding by, oh, oh, you stunned on me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. Yeah, man, I had to get my shit together. Because that shit's sick. I ain't never want to kill no nigga by no bitch though, man. Nah, I ain't never had no hard time with no bitch. I was just telling y'all about the bitch I was fucking in the trap house, no electricity. Wasn't nothing going, nigga ain't, man, nigga, nigga, we ain't had no water, nothing in that motherfucker. That bitch was in there letting me smash. And I was living in that bitch at the time, fucked up. She was in there letting me smash. We watching movies all in the studio and shit. I ain't even got a bed. We in a recliner. We sleep in a recliner. <laughs> we sleeping in a recliner, my nigga. <laughs> But that fine bitch was there. You want to know why? Because I'm Mr. T. With or without a fucking dime. That's how you know you a fly nigga. Bitch, I can fly with no wings. Superman ain't got a motherfucking thing on me, bitch. Yeah, that white boy with that tight ass suit on. Nah, he ain't this. I can fly. No cape. For the bitch. Nigga, what? But yeah, bitch dropped the motherfucking location. Here come Lil Ray. I done told y'all about them motherfucking phones. See, y'all weren't even thinking like that, wasn't it? Y'all, yeah, see, see, see. Man, listen, I done dealt with niggas. Wanna kill me about the bitch. I ain't even got nothing, my nigga. You make $100,000 a year. <laughs> if you don't go buy another bitch, man. This bitch obviously ain't shit. She like me. And you make a hundred thousand dollars a year. I ain't made a hundred dollars this week. Boy, that is a sign from God, my nigga. You need to move on. <laughs> you need to go get you a bitch that fit what you got going. This bitch ain't it. That's a lot of y'all problems now. Just like when you niggas get blessed. God chose, God then chose you to be the one. Out of all them niggas you went to school with Out of all them niggas you used to hang out with On the block Out of all them niggas that You know what I mean? Out of all them niggas God chose you my nigga And you want to disrespect God By staying over there And God giving you all the resources To get the fuck from over there You gonna die nigga Them day one niggas gonna kill you nigga And then what happened? Alright. When God take his hands off you, my nigga. Too many signs. When that nigga was on Fairfax and man, too many signs. You you just keep that you are you are a fucking habitual line stepper. God keep pushing that goal post back for you time after time. You are a habitual line stepper. You know what? I'm done with it, man. Hell y'all away with this nigga, man. Attack of the phones, man. This nigga, I fuck with Sauce Walker. What the fuck are you doing with that phone, man? Kid Boo? I expect that, man. This nigga named Kid Boo. 
Nigga got fucking colorful hair. Nigga telling us he's a clone, android, whatever the fuck he's supposed to be. Man, this nigga been lame. I expect all the goofy shit he was on, I expected. Come on, sauce. I used to live in Houston. I ain't never heard nothing but a whole lot of respect on Sauce Walker name. When that nigga was on there talking about he want to beat Kid Boo up, he is dead serious. He And he was going to beat Cuz up. Him and Lil Sancho ain't playing. Really, ain't none of them TSF niggas playing. I used to live in Houston, nigga. Whole lot of respect, nigga. I used to be up there. Uh, what was the name of that motherfucker? Cause I used to work at this little sports bar. On fucking, uh, I used to stay on the north side. It was, uh, what's, is it Eugene, Eugene? With a little mini mansions and shit at? Eugene, I used to work at, uh, what was the name of that sports bar? I forgot the name of it, man. I, could, I didn't like them white people. My brother loved them motherfuckers. They loved my brother, too. My brother politically correct, though. You know, he got the gift to gab, you know. And I don't give a fuck, man. I'm, 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 I'm the type of nigga, man. You're you, you gonna do what I said, man. I'm gonna make you do it. If I get on that shit, oh, oh you gonna do what I said. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna kiss your ass. I can't do it. For this little check, man. $10 an hour, man. Listen, this place can get stuck up. Straight up, man. Like I say, hey, I just stay in my lane. That's all. But yeah, man. I was was it called Eugene? I forgot the name of it. It started with an E, though. All I know is when I used to walk out the back of that goddamn little bar to go on break back when I smoked cigarettes. Young man, stop smoking them cigarettes. Yeah, they ain't good for you, man. They had me fucked up. But uh, man, when I when man, nigga, them houses was so fucking big. You know, this this the type of community where they ain't got no curtains and shit. I was able to watch the fucking football games from their backyard. That's how big they TV was, nigga. Nigga, I used to watch basketball, football, all that shit. Because we couldn't go in the front and sit out there with the customers and watch the game. I used to go in the back of the bar, look over the fence, and watch the game from a motherfucker's backyard, nigga. That's how big them fucking houses and them TV was, nigga. But anyway, I'm saying that to say this. I used to see Sauce Walker flying down that motherfucker, nigga. By itself, drop top. Hold up, man. Listen, Sauce, what you doing with that phone, man? And y'all don't listen to this nigga talking. Oh man, everybody ain't going. Let me tell you something. If I was PNB Rock, cause I was watching Yuck Mouth. Uh, shout out to that nigga Yuck Mouth, man. Legendary nigga from the Bay. If you don't know who I'm talking about, come on, man. We out and heard I got five on it. That shit still get played today, man. Block party. With, man, listen, that's that shit, man. Salute to that nigga. But I was watching his channel. And it was an eyewitness on his channel. The nigga came in there and was like, yeah, man, you know, the nigga died for his, man. You know what I mean? He didn't want to give his shit up. Nigga, like, it's cool. Boy, you dumb as hell. Nigga, you got money. You ain't got insurance on that shit, man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if that nigga... Wanna, it would have ran on Mr. T and got the up on Mr. T. Boy, this shit already yours, boy. Man, hey, say, my nigga, check, check. Hey, man, you ain't got to point that shit at me, my nigga. You got, hey, this yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't even know I read the future. When I got this shit, it was already yours, my nigga. I knew you'd like this. Yeah, this yours. The fuck you mean? You want the, you want the bracelet? Hold on, hold on. Nigga, I'd have pulled shit out of my pocket. Man, hey, you want the pinky ring in my pocket? I put it in my pocket because I can't eat my food with it. Hey, you want that ring? Shit, ain't my boy. All this shit. You show you don't want this. Listen, you want this bitch? You can take the bitch. Fuck you mean. Nigga would have been running out the motherfucking store. Hey, hey, you show you don't want these shoes? Boy, they, they look like they your size. <laughs> Fuck you mean, man. Nigga gonna get some more of it. Nigga ain't. Listen, ain't nothing more precious than this motherfucking life of mine. Y'all niggas talking about, man, nigga ain't going. Man. Y'all don't listen to Sauce. Don't listen to him. Your ass gonna be on motherfucking TV. And you ain't gonna be no suspect. Fuck you mean? Nah, hell nah. Hell nah. Boy, this shit hurts. Boy. <laughs> Fuck, if I ever run into you somewhere in public again, my nigga, I'm just gonna walk up to you, man. Look, you want that bracelet too? Yeah, you ain't gotta catch me slipping later, fam. You ain't even gotta follow me out of here. You don't, you want that bracelet? I remember you. You want that bracelet? <laughs> yeah, man, it ain't gotta be no problems for later, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that nigga would've went back to the hood. Hey, man, that nigga, that Mr. T nigga, all right, man. Yeah, man, that nigga, all right, man. 
Yeah, we got to put a GPS on that nigga, man. We might want to follow him home, man. Hey, man, that nigga all right, man. That nigga ain't put up no fight, no nothing, man. That nigga, man, I think that nigga would have gave me his whole goddamn car, man. That nigga all right, man. Shit. Y'all niggas out here fucking dying over some motherfucking jury. What the fuck? Y'all got it fucked up. Y'all got it fucked up because you niggas trying to seem tough. Showing out in front of that bitch. You want the bitch to, sh- to see that you hard. You and Ray Ray. You sitting there don't want to give up the jury. Ray Ray sitting there finna kill a nigga. And both of y'all trying to show this bitch that y'all tough. Now, you dead. And Ray Ray finna go to jail for the rest of his life. Because he finna go back to the hood and talk to the wrong motherfuckers. And that shit gonna get in the hands of an informant. And that informant gonna get a check on his motherfucking ass. He going to the motherfucking penitentiary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to say it like my pops. Not the penitentiary. The penitentiary, nigga. You going to the penitentiary, nigga. So you could take all that clout and take that shit to the dick house, nigga. Because that's where you're headed, nigga. And ain't no guns in that motherfucker. You're going to have to carve you some sharp, nigga. And you better have some good engineering skills on you. Because them niggas got what they call bone crushers, nigga. Nigga, cut your arm off with that motherfucker. You got that little motherfucking fingernail file. This nigga got something longer than your motherfucking forearm, nigga. Cut your motherfucking arm off. Look like one of them niggas in Africa, nigga. Pull out a whole machete on your motherfucking ass in that bitch. Yeah, you're going to the penitentiary, nigga. By the motherfucking chain. You's a fool. This young man dead by the motherfucking chain. Man, I ain't going, man. Fuck all that. Oh, you going some? Yeah, you going to Jesus' house. That's where you're going. I know y'all probably don't want to hear this shit. Man, well, man, why he talking like that, man? You know, that man lost his life. That man lost his life because he was being a damn fool. And everybody played a fool sometimes, but he was being a damn fool. God showed you time after time you continue to be a habitual line stepper, my nigga. Now his hands off you. And when you get to the gates, when you get to the gates, he's going to remind you of all those times. And let's just hope he don't tell you to turn your ass around, nigga. Man, y'all better quit playing with the motherfucking phones, man. Quit being so comfortable with that bitch, man. Motherfuckers wonder why I am. Man, T, man, you hard on the bitch. No, 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 I ain't hard on the bitch. I know that this bitch need to be led in the right direction. Speaking of bitches, man, listen. Renegade ass bitches. Go check the YouTube page. I got a short on that motherfucker of a renegade bitch that I told years ago that that was going to happen. You bitches, listen, I told, don't fall for that light skin and that good hair, bitch. The niggas a sucker. I want y'all to go back into the podcast catalog. April 29th, 2021. I did an episode called Players Don't Do That Part 2. Talking about this same shit. I told that bitch then. You reap what you sow. And you reap what you don't sow. With all that being said. I want you young niggas to know. Young ladies I want you to know. The life that you save. Will be young. Stay strong with my crown. Through altercations, we 
situations Bitch, I got me, don't do no faking Play with your kids, don't play with me, don't trust a soul These niggas hoes, friends turn to foes, ain't got no patience Mask up and ride, need that, I'll take it Label crazy, cause I speak my mind, bitch, I can't waste my time Yo, bitch, fine, but she dumb as fuck, can't even much waste my time I'm a bad guy and I know it, I'ma die young and I know it Got a big strap and I shoot one of you bitches acting heroic Probably jacked your favorite rapper, all that cap and he a actor Pistol packing, gram sacking, never talking, I'm retarded If I'm smiling, then it's hardly, I'm probably with my daughter That's the only thing I love on this whole planet and I'm cool with that AK with the shoulder strap, my cousin got it confiscated Glad it be this case, but still the date, I think my auntie hate me You know I ain't tripping, you won't catch me in my feelings I was thugging, nigga, really, I'm the coldest, nigga, really Bitches, bitches on my dick everywhere that I go So I gotta maintain and stay in my mode Haters gon' hate on me as far as time goes So wherever I go, gotta stay sharp with my chrome Talk about me bad, but I just laugh They talk that shit from over there Cause I get on your ass Don't want no friends, don't want no company I just want that cash I whoop your ass, bitch, watch your mouth I know your jaw be glass I do my thing, stay out the way I know these niggas plotting Don't trust these crackers, they agenda Ain't sincere, my nigga May fuck these cops, they really ops We need to kill these bitches But these niggas ain't woke and focused We just kill each other Should've took the good route like my brother But my head too hard I told your bitch I just won't hear, she know I keep it hard I swipe that debit cause I'm smart Don't do no credit cards Say I swipe that debit cause I'm smart Man, fuck them credit cards Man, fuck them streets These niggas wicked and them jump out boys They playing drugs on all my niggas But that they ain't new And fuck these niggas hollering gang Cause none of these niggas gon' ride for you They gon' snitch on the whole gang Cause none of these niggas doing time with you for Bitches on my dick everywhere that I go So I gotta maintain and stay in my mode Is that your legal name? As far as I'm concerned, it's my legal name. Have you been to court to establish the I don't, I, you know, I didn't have to go to court to be called Murphy or Jones or Smith. That's so right. If a Chinese person were to say his name was Patrick Murphy, uh, you would look at him like he's insane. Because uh, Murphy is an Irish name, uh, a European name, or the name that uh, has a Caucasian or, or a white background. And if it doesn't look proper for a person who is yellow, or Chinese to be walking around named Murphy or Jones or Johnson or Bunch or Powell, uh, I think it would be just as improper for a black person. During slavery, the same slave master who owned us uh, put his last name on us to denote that we 